What's good, R&B Squad? This is Otter Fruit. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you are new here, welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. So I have a quick, quick word. I'm just going to jump right into it. It came from a dream that I had. And then it came from something that was a cross between a dream and a vision because I was not asleep, but I wasn't fully awake. Okay, when I saw this. So in the first part of this, in the dream, I was watching a scene from the movie High School Musical. I believe it was High School Musical 1, and I'm sure all of you are familiar with that movie, okay? So in this particular scene that I was watching, it was one of those scenes where Troy and Gabriella are just spending quality time with each other, and they're just singing to each other and serenading each other. And I remember hearing Gabriella say to Troy, I love you, and she said it with so much passion, okay? And I should emphasize again that it looked like High School Musical 1, and I'm going to get back to why I'm emphasizing that in a moment, okay? So when I woke up from the dream, I remember that I was in prayer, and at the same time that I was in prayer, I actually saw someone tying a knot. Get it? Tie the knot? So the Lord sent me to Song of Solomon chapter 2. That was the scripture that he provided for this. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's a bit long. Matter of fact, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to put it in the description box. But I did find a summary online that I'd like to share with you all of Song of Solomon chapter 2. So I'm going to read it. Song of Solomon 2 offers a rich tapestry of love, longing, and the splendor of nature. Through the exchange between the lover and the beloved, we see a powerful metaphor for divine love. Just as the lovers yearn for each other, so do our souls yearn for spiritual union and fulfillment. This chapter reminds us of the importance of nurturing our relationships, valuing timing in love, and recognizing the obstacles that may challenge our commitments. And for those of you who are familiar with Song of Solomon chapter 2, that is the chapter in the book of Song of Solomon where the beloved... And his love, the man and the woman, are just singing each other's praises. She's over there telling him that he is an apple tree among the trees of the field. He's telling her how beautiful she is. She's describing him as a young stag, etc., etc. Okay? So it's all about them being in a meeting place, having an opportunity to spend quality time, and loving on each other. And for those of you who are familiar with High School Musical, High School Musical 1 in particular, if you look at the scenes where Troy and Gabriella are serenading each other, they're singing to each other, they're spending quality time, there is a real Song of Solomon feel to it. Like that has Song of Solomon chapter 2 all over it. And until God linked the two together, I, I never even would have thought of that. Okay? So I thought that was a beautiful reference that the Lord made and also the tying of the knot. So for whomever this is for, this is where this is going to end up. You and your person are going to end up getting married in this season. This is your season for marriage, all right? And why I mentioned and put emphasis on the fact that it was Song of Solomon, sorry, that it was High School Musical 1, part 1, was because during that time it was winter season. Troy and Gabriella met in the winter. It was at a New Year's Eve party. So it was during the Christmas season and it was also during the winter season. So that may have some significance for someone, okay? You may have fallen in love with your person during the winter or at Christmas or you guys may have confessed your feelings for each other during the winter or at Christmas or if you have never met your person, you might be meeting them this Christmas or this winter, okay? There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to go down in the winter, and I felt like God particularly highlighted that, highlighted the fact that it was winter. It was during the winter and during the Christmas season that Troy and Gabriella met and fell in love. So for whomever this is for, I hope it blessed you. I hope it refreshed your spirit the way it refreshed mine. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.